So what's up everyone? Welcome back to your channel, Brighter Life Institute, I'm Alicia. Today I want to talk about if your ex-partner is in a robot relationship but is in contact with you and you are confused regarding the kind of contact that your ex-partner has with you and some of you may see this contact as a signal of hope maybe they want to recondle things with you maybe they miss you and some of you may be worried why your ex-partner is in contact with you when they are with somebody else or in a robot relationship when an ex-partner have started a new relationship or are in a robot relationship and they contact some of us it may first make some of us happy and flattered but like I say some of us may get the signal of hope to still stay in contact still staying around as some of us may be feeling like haha something is not right with this this person is seeing someone else and this person now seems to be having very nice contact with me very friendly we even talk about her problem that we had in her relationship when before this person didn't even want to talk about anything of the relationship that we had before that person didn't even want to talk about the breakup and now suddenly that this person is dating somebody else now everything is good everything seem even too good the person is comfortable and like I say the person is friendly but also some of those ex-partner may look pretty much interested flirty and you know there's something there so how do you guys manage the situation that you want your ex-partner back or that you have move on yourself maybe you are also dating somebody else but you now have this your ex flirting with you talking to you showing interest like I said the connection seemed to be going very well This is my taking on this. And of course, any of you can do whatever you want to do. Your ex-partner, especially the ex-partner that you just left, was not that you break up and then both of you start to date somebody else and then Three years later, this guy or girl that was in your life before she's coming. If this is the person that you had your last relationship with, and some of you may have hoped or even believe that you and that person still have something there's still something between you. There's still an unfinished business. Some of you may even feel like and believe that this ex-partner actually are in love with you. My advice to all of you, no matter your circumstance regarding this, your ex-partner is an ex for a reason. Your ex-partner is with somebody else 
dating somebody else that it's serious a rebound not serious it doesn't matter your ex-partner did not choose you to work things out some ex-partner may seem like they want to sort out your relationship that you had with them your connection that you had with them when they are seeing somebody else think for a minute what this make you it doesn't make you the first choice they are just playing with you either they feel like now they they have another option they feel confident they feel secure that if you don't take them back or if they don't get what they want with you they have that other person or worse they want to play both field many guys and really it's a guy thing want to have the wife the good wife at home cooking and taking care of them want to have a girlfriend want to have an option over there and something over there that could start yeah if they could have all of that they will go for that so how convenient it is that they see that you the ex still somehow interested to see if something could restart when they are with somebody else you know they are seeing somebody else they told you or you find out doesn't matter and now they come to talk to you they keep in touch with you they listen we need to stop the game we lady need to have standard love it's not complicated if we don't make it so situation don't become toxic if we stay healthy all right so do not flatter yourself that your ex partner is contacting you when he's dating and seeing somebody else when he's involved with something else when he have choose his first choice and you are just an option you're just something casual that he want to now have on the side understand very well that whatever you had with that person is over so some people may want to start something new by having you as a side chick as you are the left over and you are you know the side you are the second option that they don't want to commit to and they selected somebody else and at this point don't focus too much about who they are involved with because when somebody want to play and having one two three it doesn't matter that you are number one number two number three the guy the girl that was a, your ex is with somebody else they are not available the them talking to you you need to see what the talk is all about if they all friendly you stay friendly but you do not want to keep it, that touch going on you need to disappear you need to focus on yourself you need to take care of yourself you need to focus on your project focus to put in you number one you need to choose you they choose somebody else they selected somebody else instead of you so for some of you that flatter yourself that your ex is in contact with you and maybe this can mean this and that wake up it mean nothing it only mean that this guy maybe or this girl want to be in demand from light right left up and down 
they are not seeing you to be a priority or something important to be involved only with you to come to you to chase you to want something solid healthy real with you they're talking so be real if somebody talking to you you're not going to start to make a whole story about what he mean they're just talking some people can start to get involved like that with their ex and sleeping with each other when knowing that that guy is dating somebody new they think that you know they're winning something that you know they start some kind of competition with this new person to, to, to be selected to be chosen we do not need to do anything to be selected we don't need to kiss their back we don't need to sleep with them we don't need to pay them we don't need to do anything if somebody is interested by you they let you know clearly you don't need to manipulate them you don't need to try to play a game and see how it goes you don't need to even put over the new woman they're seeing or new guy they're seeing down some coach out there advise people especially for the guys to stay around that this they their woman that you know they need to do certain things okay let the guy play their own game but us ladies we don't know what something we're not going to start to do is play games with herself especially for some of you lady that still hoping that your ex is coming back please from the moment he select somebody else let him go doesn't mean his choice to choose somebody else has anything to do with you in a way it has something to do with you anyway not don't ask about the other woman don't put her down don't talk about her their relationship has nothing to do with you let them be happy let them have what they wanted with each other pull yourself out of the picture totally do not uh, start to interfere following them on social media look looking who that person is it doesn't matter it doesn't bring you nothing to know who that person is zero so focus on yourself know your worth and you know just see the contact of your ex to be just a contact if they're just asking you something there's nothing behind it the relationship is over they are with somebody else and that's it you need to focus on you you need to heal you need to work on yourself focus on what's important to you and you may some of you feel like your ex is important to you no they're not important they're with somebody else somebody else is taking care of them let them let your partner have whatever you want with whoever you want but don't allow anyone to play with you and start to you know having contact with you giving you hope uh trying to give you some eyes that they still interested if if we could sleep together we will just forget it forget it when your ex selected somebody else that should have put you off that put you off some of you may get excited about that well everybody is things but for me it won't put me uh it will not excite me uh it will just give me the freedom to finally know it's over and i need to be with myself and that's it and wish your ex partner well you don't even need to tell them 
And uh, if there's contact, keep it to the minimum. We don't see that as a sign of hope, especially when they're with somebody else. It's not the same if they're single. If they're seeing somebody else, they are dangerous for you. They may look in, plotting to make you a side chick. They may be hoping and plotting to just play with you and not to commit with you. They may bring more pain to you. So protect yourself and don't allow people, you know, broken people and people that know that want two or three people, four people uh, be involved with. Some people want uh, two women to boost their low self-esteem. Don't be that second woman. Don't play in that game. Let them play their own game by themselves. All right? Okay. So, guys, if you like it, this video, give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And share with us, you know, if there's any ex with you that keep coming around you. And you know they've seen somebody else. I mean, come on. That should put any of you off. That mean this person is trying to play you you know what I mean they, they, they are with somebody and they're coming around you so what future do you have with somebody like that when you be with them they may doing the same thing to you would you like that so don't be involved on in things that you don't want to be done to you because if somebody is like that with someone they will do the same to you so stay stay away from people that are confused that want to play two sides and want to put you on a level that you don't want put you in something that you don't want to be involved with if it's you want a serious relationship you need to stick to that you need to mean it don't get involved with somebody that is already with somebody else here it's your ex, but it could be another guy that is married and with somebody else that is coming around you and you feel flatter, a married man with kids. Sorry, but there's so many single guys out there that don't get involved with promise of pain because that economy pain that you find in this. All right? I'm Alicia. This is Brighter Life Institute. I hope you liked the subject of this video today. I hope you're going to take care of yourself. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.